Welcome everyone, this is Pilot Needles, and today I'll be starting a new challenge, Mage Rage. This is a weekly challenge being presented by Ed Case of the Mob Cave. This is the first Mage Rage, and it's a bit of an alpha test, so we'll see how well it goes. It says to check page 3 of the book to unlock your Patreon reward. Make sure all mages are made OP in multiplayer. Well, since I am playing single player, that doesn't matter. Real mages don't cheat. That means you don't use anything like mobs or cheats or anything like that in order to get special advantages. You're not allowed to preview the world. If you watch any videos, please do so after you make your own run so you don't get any advantages from that. And you're not allowed to sleep. As far as I can tell, you're not allowed to place beds or sleep in beds or anything like that. The game will prevent you from so you don't do it by accident. If you die, you do return with all your inventory, so you don't have to worry about losing everything. And please recommend these maps to other potential mages. Now let's see what we have in the book. This map was created by Archmage Ed Case. Once you've started, throw a crystal ball on the ground to see which items you need to collect. The object is to collect nine items in the inventory at the same time to complete the challenge. So this is different from base race, where you have to have 27 items and bring them back to a central base. Here, you just need to hold on to all those, all nine of those items at once. And if you're playing solo or free for all, you don't select a team. Otherwise, you select a team here. And now let's see what we have click there for a how to play video. I've already seen the how to play video. Hopefully I remember this. Actually I've watched that video twice so hopefully I can remember stuff in there. Click there to turn on recording reminders and let's see and you can show, go to the Patreon page here and if you're a patron you click there to unlock your magic hat. There you go it says Copy and paste the password into the book, then click Done, not signed, to receive the magic hat. Alright. Now I think just in case the password is visible, I'm going to turn off recording and come back after I sign the... Sign, not, not sign the book, Done! It says in here that you are to click Done, not signed, to receive the hat. It appears that I got it working. I now have my rather conical, or perhaps it's comical, magic hat here. Looks like all it is is just an appearance here with a curse of binding on it, so I should not worry about getting a helmet or anything like that since I've got the magic hat on. There you go. And I think uh, that's it for, for that. So now I have my hat. So now let's go and choose some spells. And uh, that means to get my spell tome. There you go. Now I have the spell tome. And I now have to select five spells. The revealing spell, which highlights mobs, players in a large radius. A water spell. Lava spell, slowness spell, levitation spell, pain spell, mining spell, explosive spell, blink spell, fire spell, and ice spell. Now I was thinking about which of these five spells would I want? Which five of these 11 spells would I want? And eventually I decided on revealing. That's the first one. It is the second one I want, and it helps to choose an order for these because well we'll see that when we get into the world the okay the order so that's the second spell the third spell that I want is blink and this is a spell that allows you to teleport a short distance maybe that'll save me on a couple of occasions now I don't know if I'm going to be using the spells or how often or whatever mining spell that could come in handy if I don't have inappropriate pick or anything like that and finally a pain spell because I do need at least one combat spell I think and all right and I am in the world now we so let's 
Now, how do these spells work? Right, here's my item list. These are the items that I must get. Sandstone, stripped spruce log, iron ore, red terracotta, fermented spider eye. If I want a fermented spider eye, that means I'll need a kill a spider. And also, I think I need sugar for that. Iron bars, a note block, no, it's an iron... Oh, yeah, iron bars. So I need iron for both the iron ore and the iron bars. A note block. Glass bottle. And then I need some sand. And then a redstone block. Okay, and if I need a new wand, I can do that. Very well, and I could get a look at it with this, I believe. I toss one of these down on the ground. Well, let me get down first because I'm pretty... Uh, oop, ouch. See how this works. Right, okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. So that's, uh, that's the list of the things that I need. So I just used Q in order to do that. So if I want to see what they all look like, uh, that's what I can do. Alright. Good. And now as far as the wand, how's that work? Hmm. How does the wand work? Hmm. Has a bit of a knockback to it, I see. Well, I'm going to have to figure out how that works. Now, you did show it on the video, but apparently I didn't... I must have missed that somewhere. Which I hopefully I find out before too long. Well, I do need some of this. Actually, I think I'd better start punching a tree because if I'm going to have trouble figuring out how to use this thing, I will still have to at least get some stuff the conventional way. Uh, look, looks like I'm using my <laughs> wand to break some trees here. Now I think it's those spruce is the type of tree that I'm going to be needing. Now I will have to write all this stuff down the next time I pause the video recording. Which is probably something I'll do at some point in order to find out okay what did he want us to do with this one now in order to make it work? Because I forgot! It's not working! What kind of mage doesn't know how to use a wand? I'm using it as an axe instead. <laughs> Ooh, an apple. That's nice. Let's take care of that. Now, this is, as I said before, we are playing this so that we are not allowed to sleep, so I can't just sleep down the night. I do have to remember, though, that even though I'm not allowed to sleep, that there are no rules against killing chickens. Because I'm so used to doing MHC, which also has a no sleep rule, and in that one, you're not allowed to kill passive mobs. You're supposed to not hurt them in any way. Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll just give myself a crafting table here. Okay, good. At least first night I can go underground. There you go. Let's get some sticks and our usual thing. Of, ah, I might as well get an axe. Actually, it might be better if I could figure out how to use the wand, because the wand should make chopping down a tree a lot easier, right? I hope I actually chose spells, right? <laughs> actually, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I have chosen these spells. Yeah, so it says I've chosen spells. All right. 
Yeah, it acknowledged that I selected spells. It's not like I said, oh, no, you didn't select any spells, so there. Oh, that's right, because once you select all five spells, it sends you here. So it obviously knows that I selected five spells. It just doesn't know when I'm telling it to actually do anything. Let's see, I do have to go into some place to mine some iron. So the first night I'm not going to have to worry too much about mobs, but after that, but of course I am going to have to kill spiders eventually. And I have lots of wood. Let's see, what all do I need? Okay, so I need, so I need to get to a, oh actually no, sandstone, that just means I need... Okay, so the sandstone shows that it's already found there. Okay, good. I need spruce for that. Iron. Red terracotta, so that means finding a mesa there. Okay, I need... Okay, I also need sand for the... for the bottle. So I need more sand. And where did I find that sand before? I don't know. Oh, there, because there's a river down here or something of that matter. Now, let's see. I think I'll just smelt a little bit of sand. I think I just need to make... See, I just need one bottle. Now, of course, you can also get a bottle by fishing or something like that. Not that fishing is going to be the most exciting content you could have here. And you can avoid it. Avoid it. Now let's see. Where were we? I will need some... It said... Red terracotta. So I'll make sure that I can at least get some red if needed. Good. So the only thing left is to figure out how to use this blasted wand. See, we're about halfway through the day. Hmm. I think once I get find a place underground and head into the night portion of the episode is when I'm going to take a little break and figure out what I missed in doing the one. Unless there's something you got to do with it. Well, no, that's definitely not what I needed to do with it. Yeah. I don't know how to use it. Eh, what kind of wizard am I? Very bad one, probably. Oh, yee. Oh, wait a minute. That's coal. Oh! Why is it working? Okay, slowness fell. The fly. Oh. Uh, I thought I had slowness fell on me. I guess not. Well then, that wasn't too keen. Oh, uh, let's see. Obviously, I have a few more things to learn on how to use this thing. Just in case I need those logs or anything else. Just in case I need a few... Well... <sighs> okay, those are the planks. Good. Good. Let's get myself some... Pickaxe. Oh, good grief. Actually, let's mine cobble first. <laughs> so I can at least make a pickaxe. Good. Now let's get a real pickaxe. Not one of these. Oh. Yeah, yes, I see the stupid skeleton there. Uh, can can I give this thing some pain?
This is not going to be fun. Okay, well, I still need to learn how to use this thing. Uh, oh. <sighs> My crafting bench, of course, was next to me at the time. Well, at least that's only a small thing, too. It's such a slowness spell that I want there. I want to know how to... Ah. Uh. All right. Well, stupid skeleton. Where were we? Well, I I need some time in order to figure out how to cast spells because obviously I'm doing something wrong because all I'm have here is this slowness spell. I'm going to dig in for this first night. And let's see. We have... Uh, oh, that usual problem. And I need a new crafting bench. Oh, let's... <sighs> All right, crafting bench. Yeah, trying to get used to the new rules here, trying to get used to a new world here, trying to... One piece of coal. Oh, that's right, I did collect one piece of coal there. Good. Light! Now I can get myself my furnace. Good. Six oak logs. Of course. Uh, oh, dark oak logs. Mm, one, two, three, four. All right, give me give me some of those. Now I managed to. Ignore all. Yeah, that skeleton just. I'm still trying to figure out how to do what I need to do. Do let's see now. I still have okay. I have the sandstone there. Maybe I should put the target items on the bottom since then I know that once I get them, they are they won't go to the top because it looks like anything goes to the top whenever I create something. So let's head out this way. And I want to get some iron. All right, and there we go there. I got plenty of cobble. But the question is, where the... Oh. All right, that gives me that. I'll need a few more torches. One, two, three, four. All right, that give me plenty of torches. Uh, what do I want? I want some. Hmm. Think. Actually, probably two planks is the best way in order to cook up the glass that I need. Good. Iron bars, note block, glass bottle, redstone block. All right. That's good, I hope. Now, I need to figure out, because I did get this working once. It's on a slowness bell. And I forgot what you're supposed to do in order to get this to work. Let me recheck his video. I went and checked back. It is the sneak key where you select your spells. So, there you go. Let's go with the pain spell for the moment. Good, that seems to work. Now, hopefully, I can remember that for the future. There is my glass bottle. So we have two items in there. Does that mean if I drop this, it shows... 
Well, I don't have room to show everything, apparently. But if I had room to show everything, it would show it. All right, that's good to know. So that is two items done. And I also managed to get the coordinates pack to work. This is I used Batty's co coordinates pack, and Batty's coordinates pack is one of the few customization things that you can use in this. Because one of the rules is you can't use mods, but something that gives you information such as coordinates is allowed, and in fact he even provides a link to the coordinates pack just in case you haven't heard of it before. So that is allowed, while general... Oh yes, because I'm on sneak mode. <laughs> I have to remember that, yes, the sneak mode is used to change your spell. Alright. And that's how I managed to accidentally activate it back when I was doing the stuff in the previous... Uh, when I was in that cave where I got killed at, and I said, oh, how, okay, I managed to slay... Oh, yeah, but... That didn't last long because I forgot how to do it after that. Oh yes, mining. I can remember I have a mining spell. That's the one I really should bring out. Oh. Of course, now I have myself right down here in a weird position. Now what happens if I select the mining spell, blink... Actually, what is the blink spell? Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that wasn't the best way of handling it. <laughs> okay, not a good situation for the Blink Spell. Oh, that's interesting. Oh! That leads outside. Okay. Man, that wasn't the best idea. Haha. <laughs> oh. We do have something up here. At least if I get blasted by a creeper, I don't lose everything. Alright. Well, I do want to go and get back up to my... to my furnace. Uh, because I don't want to lose the stuff that I had... well... <laughs> I keep on getting lost on that. Now, anything else I need to cook for the moment? We can go back to here. Yeah, so we need sandstone. See, I need to find a spruce area. Oh, iron! 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 And that's why I was digging down in the first place, so that I could hopefully find an area that has iron. So most likely I'll go and do outdoor things when the end of the day comes, which is... I'm not too sure exactly how far I'm away. That Between the prologue that I did and that little bit of checking what was in the... with Ed and all that stuff, checking, rechecking the video that says how you do this stuff. Actually, hmm... Slowness, blink, mining. Alright, let's try this mining thing. Whee! So, four second cooldown. Let's try it again, yes. Whee! A lot faster than using up your pick, right? Yeah, I should have thought of that earlier. Whee! And maybe I can get some iron out of this. Of course, I can only do it once every four seconds. That's giving me plenty of stuff at least. Actually, I don't need to do that. Uh, let's conserve that. Whee! <laughs> yes, real mages uh, don't use a pick, right? But I do need to see if I could find some... Hmm. Yeah, what I'm going to be needing is a good 
source it. Well, a good. F where's the iron? I'm sure, it's got to be iron somewhere, right? Iron. Oh, iron. Apparently, there's none in this area. Well, all right. Well, I guess there's no reason to belabor that at the moment. Maybe every once in a while when I'm in the mood, just in another spot there. But I think, what do we have here? I think we're getting close to the... To morning? Oh yeah, the sun is coming up. That means it's time for me to head out and explore the world. And hopefully find something, such as iron. At least now I don't need to pick as much as I was trying to use it there. Not too sure how long I should make each episode, because I'm still trying to get used to it. And all that's going on here, what do you have? Actually, I should maybe... Oh. I have a pain spell, just in case I run to any mobs. And hopefully that could be useful. Well, useful for me, won't be too useful for the mobs in question. Should I try to test this out? Uh, poor she... Uh, okay, it looks like we're going to have a poor chicken here that's going to be the victim. Yeah. Alright. It, it does do some stuff. Alright, it looks like that if you hit the mob directly, it has a shorter cooldown. Let's see. Uh, where do we want to go? Now, I don't know what kind... Now, I don't think he used anything like large biomes here because it just seems to be counter to what Ed likes. Now, actually, the mining spell. What happens if I use a mining spell on the tree? Alright. Oh, ha ah. Yeah, I am. Alright, let's see what... Okay, it does work on trees. Alright, that's good to tell. That's good to know, alright. That would have been nice when I was doing the original cutting down at the very beginning. And... Of course, said it's not super fast because you do have that four second cooldown. But otherwise, it seems to work fairly well and certainly a lot faster than using a wooden axe. Is there some cattle? I'm not going to worry too much about food at the moment, but I'm sure at some point that'll come in handy. Right, here we go. What do we have here? I need to see, because we have... Looks like it's mainly dark oak foresters. I have tons of dark oak. What I want to see is... Okay. Uh, what happens if I try to blink across this river? Is that how that works? Ouch. <laughs> oh, well. See, we have oak. See, I'm looking for spruce. I'm not having much luck at that at the moment. Let's remember what biomes do I need everything at. Uh, let's see. Well, I need some. Well, I need some iron. I have to dig down in order to get some. But I get some iron at the levels I was at, but to get redstone, I have to dig down pretty deep. Hmm. Well, yeah. Uh, what's down here? There you go. Yeah, not 
nothing much up there. No, look at that. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some searching, and eventually, maybe, I can find a bat. I don't think I need a bat. What I need is, let's see, we know that we need a spruce forest, and that we need a, oh, I keep on forgetting what I need to go, I need to get that. I should have written that down while I was at the other thing. Oh, yeah, I need to kill a spider. Oh, yes, a mesa is the other biome that I absolutely need. So, actually, it's not, you don't absolutely need a biome. You can get clay. And you could use clay in order to make, well, unfortunately, this thing doesn't have any clay. In it. But you use clay in order to make a clay block which can be baked into terracotta and then that could be made red. That is another option for that. But for spruce, unless I find a ship or something like that, I'm definitely going to have to find a find a tiger somewhere. Hmm. Sounds like to me that there is a convention of zombies down there somewhere. See, there's a cave. Now, speaking of caves, may now, I do have a couple of pieces of coal here. All right. Good. Hmm. I have a little bit of hunger, too. There you go. Now, let's see if there is a ship nearby. Because if there is, that could help me with a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, no nearby ships at least. It was worth a shot. Maybe someday I'll run into a ship or... That, but that is, ma of course, it would have to be a spruce ship, even if I did find a ship. Of course, the ship could also contain, have a, in its hold some iron, which is also could be useful. But, uh, well, iron should be relatively easy to get, especially when you have a mining spell available. Hmm. There you go. Let's get used, try to get used to using the spells, because that's sort of the tricky thing. Now, see, that looks like it's a, that was, those are probably oak trees because those are in a swamp all right starting to get used to going around with the blink spell not perfectly yet but you could see so this is a swamp oh but in a swamp I could find terracotta I uh, not terracotta I mean clay all right well, let's head down into here Somewhere there has to be clay. Uh, you'd think if you're in a... Actually, I don't think I'm in swamp right now. This is the area that where it's swampy. Alright. Uh, let's see. Somewhere in here there has to be some clay. Ah! Clay! Good. And... Let's see if I remember... Hmm. Well, that was weird. Huh? Okay, it doesn't like going th into water, perhaps? See, right? Yeah, because it works fine there. Hmm. Well then, if it doesn't work that way, you can still, of course, make a do it the conventional way. As the little thing is that the 
is that that spell apparently does not like at all in any way working with well, I thought it was a dangerous mob coming at me. It was only a sheep. All right, there we go. Now I have a... Now I'm not sure exactly how many of these I'm going to be needing. I figure that when we hit the night cycle, I could take care of that. Okay, good. That is more than enough clay. And I think that we are coming down to, uh, let's see, where is the sun right now? No idea. Sun, where are you? Ah, yeah, it's going down, so I need to start digging down myself. How about if I head into a mining mode? Let's see if I could do this right. Mm, oh. No, oh, not blink. Mining. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't the best idea there, but at least. I can close things off. And I think this is where I am going to leave us off for today. Next time, we are going to check out about this terracotta I have and dig a little bit deeper. And maybe I could find some iron, ooh, coal, in the next episode of the February 2019 Week 1 Mage Rage.